G'day motorsport fans, we're here for the Targa Florio Australian Tribute and we're here for some regularity motorsport training which is taking place here at Lorbeck Luxury Cars in Port Melbourne. So today we've got a number of competitors who are going to learn the fine art of regularity motorsport delivered by one of the masters in this in this game, Giordano Mozzi, winner of many, many events, regularity motorsport events across the world, including the Mille Miglia. As you can see behind me, we've got some of our competitors already being put through their paces, so it promises to be a great day. Okay, I'm joined now by Director of the Targa Florio Australian Tribute, Andrew Lawson, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the first training day they've put on for competitors. G'day, Andrew. G'day, Steve. How are you? Thanks for coming down today. We're, um, we're excited to be here. This is the first training for, uh, for Targa Florio. We're really trying to give people a feeling for the competition, trying to get them involved in understanding how to, how to really nail the times in each of the key uh, PCs, which are the, 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 there's 70 of these in the event, and they're really small time stages, which if everyone gets on, gets the line on time, they don't lose any points, but you've got to be within a hundredth of a second, so it's easier said than done. We've got the a world expert here, expert here today, Giordano, and Giordano's, uh, uh, come to actually give people the benefit of his knowledge. He's won the, uh, the Milli Miglia. Uh, uh, several times and competed in a, in, in a range of different cars, Ferraris and, and the old historics. So it's fantastic to have him here and we're really uh, just excited to uh, get everyone else to share the, the passion for this event. Well, regularity motorsport in Europe is a massive thing when you talk about the, uh, the Mille Miglia Nuvolari, you talk about uh, yeah, the Targa Flora itself in Sicily. Uh, it's really widely uh, respected and participated, participated uh, motorsport over there. Um, you've, over the last two years, the Targa Flora Australian Tribute has uh, replicated that. But I think uh, this training component has been the one thing that perhaps Australian competitors are not quite uh, across. So putting on something like this, I think, is fantastic for them. Yeah, look. As much as anything, it's uh, it, it's it's um, a, a real passion for people to get into the competition. And in Australia, we have a different sort of regularity. Whereas all over the rest of the world, they run a, a very uh, serious competition, and it, and it's very very precise timing. So what we're doing today is giving people an understanding so that they'll enjoy the competition more. And really, the event here, we we're keen to grow and grow to be the same size as those events overseas. So. In the case of the Tiger Florio and Millie Millia, there are literally thousands of people go along to uh, to enjoy these events. Here in Australia, we're building the, uh, the 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 understanding of the events, and I think with that, we'll see a lot more people get involved and enjoy the event. It's a pleasure for me, and we feel a very good uh, interest in this kind of races, in a, a, a historic car and also modern supercar. Because regularity race in Europe, uh, we used to race many uh, in many countries so, uh, all year long. Uh, and here in Australia, we are uh, we are improving. We are starting to have this kind of competition, and I feel and I and I watch a very great interest in all crews, uh, and they are improving. They are getting better and better in their in their uh, ranking, in their final results. So it's very interesting. I'm enjoying a lot, and now we are training. We are testing and we are, we are trying to approach in the right way the goal time. We have to be precise in very few hundreds of seconds on each test trial. So we have to test it, we have to approach in the right way the goal line. It's not easy, it's not easy because you have to work exactly in Formula One, exactly in WRC competition with both, both the feet on the brakes and on, on the acceleration. And so you have to, you have to improve your sensibility and you, it's a great job on car between driver and co-driver. You have to reach a great feeling to be so precise. So it's an interesting, interesting challenge, no risks. Uh, it's nice to watch that Australian crews want to be more and more competitive. I'm enjoying with them, they are learning a lot. I feel the pressure already of Australian crews and it's nice. It's very, very interesting. First of all, you have to enjoy the event, the entire event. So, lifestyle, Italian lifestyle or Australian lifestyle, you can enjoy uh, the good food, uh, the good wine at dinner, 
uh, relax with uh, with many people with the same passion so this is the first goal to reach enjoy the weekend enjoy the event then you have the sport part you have the final ranking that is as we said before an interesting challenge with no risks and you have to be precise in a test trial so you open the stage when you pass with your front tires on a, on a lane, the lane is a tube, is a press ostato with the air inside. When the tire push the air, the air goes to the to the sensibility of the computer that with the real time give you the right time when you touch that goal. Then you make the other distance, the, the next goal in 14 seconds, as we said before, and you have to be precise at hundredth of second. So if you touch the next goal, in 14 seconds and three hundredths of seconds, you have three penalties in this way. So one hundredth of, panel of seconds is one penalty. And then you have average test. Average test, you have to keep the same speed from the beginning of the stage until the end of the same stage. And there you can have penalties of a tenth hundredth of seconds, one penalty. Each tenth hundredth of second is one penalty. So. At the end of the race, you have the mix of this kind of competition, of this kind of mistakes, of penalties, and the winner, of course, is the, is the crew that has less penalties as possible than, than anyone else. So the event this year is uh, from the 14th to the 17th of November. Uh, it runs from Thursday. We start in Geelong. We travel down the Great Ocean Road, loop back back into and across the ferry at Queenscliff, go up through Arthur Seat and down into Cape Shank. We have uh, uh, a, a day that goes then through the Mornington Peninsula around looping through uh, West Gippsland into Phillip Island where we get a bit of fun on the track and you do get to unleash a bit of speed which is great. The next day up into uh, Gippsland and out and around through Haunted Hills, another track that they run the, the Australian Hill Climb Championship there. We go from there down into the festival at Hillsville and there's a fantastic festa of, uh, in, in Green Street there with, with celebrating everything Italian. And then we finish the day uh, on the Sunday where we go round from the Heritage up through the Yarra Valley, round through Mount Macedon, down into Williamstown and into Ligon Street where the Ligon Street festa will be finished with this event all coming in together and 30,000 people cheering away and it should be a lot of fun.